Hi, I'm John Bouchot, I'm Managing Director of Trade Advisory Network. Um, Trade Advisory Network supports banks, technology companies, fintechs, and other non-bank lenders and investors, and also corporates involved in international trade. So our main area of uh, activity is to help develop supply chain finance and trade finance propositions, solutions in the industry, not just the banks, but the broader industry. I think the big challenge for the global trade and supply chain finance community right now is to develop a product, a solution, a financing solution which operates from end to end, from purchase order all the way through to approved and payable, but in a flow-based model rather than a transactional model. So traditional trade finance does all that, it works perfectly well, it does exactly what it says on the tin, but each transaction is financed individually. Now 85% of global trade does not go through that process, it's settled on open account. So the opportunity exists to replicate some of the benefits of traditional trade finance but in a flow-based open account scenario. Uh, so that's the area where we're most interested in. We do lots of other stuff to do with education and training as well, not least with the ICC Academy. Um, but in terms of innovation, it's what we're, what we're currently working on to help address that need is the development with a technology partner of a like a plug and play application which captures the framework which would facilitate this end-to-end -end finance solution but is then configurable so that each bank or non-bank finance provider can then apply their risk models, their risk profiles, collaboration across banks. It can start as simply as they, as they need to and then develop more comprehensive solutions taking into account all the other stakeholders. So that's the, that's the exciting innovation initiative that we're currently running with alongside our day-to-day -day activities. So why should people come to the ICC events such as this uh, Supply Chain Finance Summit? I think the, there are a few good reasons. One is that the ICC is the definitive rule-making organisation for global trade. So it is a definitive authority on the subject. It's not a partisan sort of authority. It doesn't, it's, it, it's not aligned to specific groups, whether they be banks or non-banks or influence finance providers or technology providers. They're very much an authoritative, independent body. Uh, secondly, because of that, um, the, the speakers that are attracted to this sort of event tend to be uh, very experienced, very senior, very knowledgeable, and very able to interact um, and share their expertise. And the, and the audience is also uh, well equipped to uh, engage in the debate, so it isn't just a, a series of chalk and chalk presentations. It does develop into a really meaningful debate. Of course, the network 